Seduce me to these vices. I have one request. I understand I have to suffer the consequences of his friendship. But the only way I can appease myself is by asking you one thing. Whatever torment you suggest for me, give him double Allah. The Quran says all friendship will be converted into enmity but the friendship on the name of Allah. Can you imagine the pinnacle of regret that this kafir will go through? There was a person by the name of Walid ibn Mughira. He, he heard the azab of Akhira. He decided to accept Islam. His friend told him, I believe you became a Muslim. He says, yes. Why? No, I'm afraid of the torment. He says, no, no, don't worry about that. You pay me monthly and I'll divert the punishment from you. Monthly, you give me so much money. And I will satisfy, I will pay you. Compelled by that peer pressure, blinded by that. This is the words of the Quran. So he started paying him monthly. He paid him for three months and then he stopped paying. Allah says, does he have the knowledge of the unseen? So brothers, I have said much and I want to conclude with my beginning message. The celebrities of the world today, the icons, the role models of the world today, study their life, their social life is in total shambles. The only human whose life has been groomed to perfection on every possible level. His interaction with his honorable consorts, his interaction with his young sahaba, as I briefly touched upon it, was the life of Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa Let me then leave you with this hadith, where that sahabi came and he asked, Ayyu julasa ina khair ya Rasulullah. Oh Nabi of Allah, you tell us which is our best friend. You tell us which is our best friend. But who do we socialize? Which are our noble companions? Nabi alayhi salam said, Arba'um min sa'adatil mar'i. Four things form the good fortune of a man. An takuna zawjatahu saliha. That he has a pious wife. Analyze that virtue and that fortune from a material perspective and it would be if he has a beautiful wife. Of course, beauty is there in its place. Nobody says no. But only beauty with no. You know, like one brother told me this. He says, Sheikh, what do you think? I think it's better to get married to a woman that is beautiful and not pious than get married to a woman that is pious and not beautiful. I asked him why. He says, look here, if the woman is pious, but she's not beautiful, you can't make her beautiful. But if she's beautiful and she's not pious, you can always make her pious. I said, yeah, subhan, is that the way? Today with the cosmetic industry, I assume you can do it with anyone. <laughs> Nonetheless, أَن تَكُونَ زَوْجَتَهُ صَالِحَ Four things form the good fortune of a man. And he is fortunate in the eyes of Allah. And what did the Nabi of Allah said? A time will come. يُقَالُ لِلْرَجُلُ The Riwayat of Bukhari. مَا أَعْقَلَهُ وَمَا أَزْرَفَهُ وَمَا أَجْلَدَهُ وَمَا فِي قَلْبِهِ مِثْقَالُ ذَرَّةٍ مِنْ إِيمَانٍ it would be said, what an intellectual young boy, what a brilliant boy, what a competent youngster, but his heart would be devoid of faith and morals. He would be put on the highest pedestal. World will salute him. Everyone will honor him, yet he will be devoid of total things. And on the contrary, let us see in, on the tongue of Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam, what is then beauty? Who is fortunate? When Sahaba came and said, Ayyu, ayyu shay'in khayrun lin nisa. Oh, Nabi of Allah, what is the best gift I can give my mother, my sister, my daughter? Nabi Sallallahu says, it concerns the woman. Why don't you go and ask Fatima? She'll know better. She's the queen of the woman of Jannah. They come to Fatima radiallahu anha and they ask her that question in two words. She says, La yarayna rijal wa la yarawna La yarayna rijal Such modesty comes into that girl that she doesn't cast a lustful gaze on any strange man and provide her with such a conducive atmosphere and environment that no strange man cast a lustful gaze upon her. Nabi alayhi salam said, عِفُّوا عَنْ نِسَاءِ النَّاسِ تَعِفُّ نِسَاءُكُمْ وَبِرُّوا أَبَاءَكُمْ تَبُرُّكُمْ أَبْنَاءُكُمْ O my sahaba, do not cast a lustful gaze on any strange woman and Allah will divinely save your mother and your daughter from the lustful gazes of strange women, from strange men. On the contrary, in many social circles, many women feel that tend to amount to respect. But nevertheless, أَرْبَعٌ مِّن سَعَادَةِ الْمَرِئِ أَن تَكُونَ زَوْجَتَهُ صَالِحَا Then her wife is by, he has a pious wife. وَخُلَطَاءَهُ صَالِحِينَ And he has noble companions, his friends with whom he socializes. I always say, if not anything else, just take this into factor. 
that the Nabi of Allah said, if you have 40 pious people at your grave, then inshallah, they come and perform your janazah, your jannat and your maghfirah will be made. And remember, كَمَا تَعِيشُونَ تَمُوتُونَ وَكَمَا تَمُوتُونَ تُحْشَرُونَ It is with whom you socialize that will come to your grave. A youngster, what, whoever is his social clique and his friends, they are the ones that will come and see you off at your funeral and they will be the last to pay their respects. So interact with those pious youngsters, those pious youngsters that they can be the last to make dua for you. وَخُلَطَاءَهُ صَالِحِينَ That his companions are pious. وَأَوْلَادَهُ abrar. And he has noble, up, upright, pious, ob uh, obedient, obliging, respectful children. And number four, And that Allah makes divine arrangements for his sustenance to be in close proximity to his house. He doesn't have to travel very far. Allah makes divine arrangements that his sustenance and his livelihood is very close. I conclude with that hadith again of the Nabi of Allah. When the Sahaba asked him, who are our best friends? He said, the one that can provide you with three, he is the best friend, befriend him. Befriend him. And remember, there are many people who befriend you with ulterior motives. Like in English they say, I love people who openly hate me, but I hate people who pretend to love me. I love people who openly hate me, but I hate people who pretend to love me. The Nabi of Allah said, a time will come. يَكُونُ فِي آخِرِ الزَّمَانِ أَقْوَامٌ إِخْوَانُ الْعَلَانِيَةَ أَعْدَاءُ A time will come prior to Qiyamah, where people will express friendship and brotherhood, but they will be enemies from within. They will be enemies from within. You know, it's a topic of its own. The Nabi of Allah said, three qualities, that is your best friend. مَنْ ذَكَّرَكُمُ اللَّهَ رُؤْيَتُهُ وَزَادَ فِي عِلْمِكُمْ مَنْ تِقُهُ وَذَكَّرَكُمْ بِالْآخِرَةِ عَمَلُهُ That person, مَنْ ذَكَّرَكُمُ اللَّهَ رُؤْيَتُهُ That young boy, when you look at him, his appearance reminds you of Allah. When you look at this boy, his social interaction, his friends, his dealings, his attitude, his behavior, you look at the manner in which he conducts himself, you realize that naturally there is an Allah watching this person. And not those, أَفَرَأَيْتَ مَنِ اتَّخَذَ إِلَهَهُ هَوَا who have made their worms and their fences, their deities and their isms, and they worship them in the manner that Allah ought to be worshipped. So that person whose appearance reminds you of Allah, وَزَادَ فِي عِلْمِكُمْ مَنْ تِقُهُ And when he speaks, your knowledge about Allah increases. There are many people who will tell you on sports, politics, this, that. How many friends are there who can motivate you spiritually and make you conscious of your Creator? Make you understand to stand as an upright Muslim in society. وَذَكَّرَكُمْ بِالْآخِرَةِ عَمَلُهُ And when you look at his dealings and the manner in which he conducts himself, then it is a sufficient reflection of accountability. He is so meticulous in his dealings that definitely it constantly reminds you that there is something like accountability. That is why this man is so conscious that he has disciplined his, himself, he has lowered his gait, his modest interaction, his honesty, that young boy, his honesty in his dealings, reviving the like of Sayyidina Yusuf alayhi salatu was salam, when attracted to zina, he said, hey, talaqala ma'ad Allah. And then the minister's wife said, she took a piece of cloth and she threw it upon some item. So Yusuf asked her, alayhi salam, what is that? She says, no, I feel ashamed to perpetrate the act of zina in the presence of that idol. So Yusuf said, well, my, uh, my Allah is such that I cannot conceal him and I cannot cover him. لا تدركه الأبصار وهو يدرك الأبصار. I say this as my closing comments and I make dua to the Almighty Allah that he accept our get together here. Motivate and inspire one and all in this get together that we become better Muslims and we reflect the beauty of Islam. And at no stage do we become hurdles and obstacles to the true, uh, to, to, to reflect in the true Islam and we reflect it in its original and its pristine form in the manner that Allah and His Nabi have revealed it and preserved it.